Them fighting words. Them fighting words. Mm-hmm. Okay, I... We're gonna watch a little bit of Tim Pool, okay? I know we don't watch Tim Pool that often. We watch him, like, maybe once a month. But once a month, he says some stupid shit. And he's currently uh, invested in the idea that Kamala Harris, a state senator and <clears throat> a DA, could not possibly have performed well in the debate against Trump unless she was using hearing devices. Because... Clearly, she has no practice ever doing that, public public speaking or arguing or any type of, I don't know, prosecution? Mm, mm, mm. From Newsweek, a conspiracy theory emerges. Was Kamala Harris wearing audio headphone earrings? I love this. It's uh, probably not true, and I don't care if it is true, but to me, it feels like a cope. To claim that Kamala Harris had to wear special earpieces is just a waste of time. A lot of people are pointing it out, but here we go. What are Nova H1 audio earrings? Kamala Harris conspiracy spreads online. There have been so many of these. Donald Trump had something in his hair, and I think it was like something that held his hair up or something like that. <laughs> Something that held his hair up. <laughs> Trash crow, thank you for the tier one. And they were, uh, people were claiming that Trump was using bone conduction, uh, was it bone induction audio devices? So what they, how they work is, there's no speaker. Well, there, there's a speaker, but it vibrates into the bone. So you hear it and it's not loud. So Google Glass was famous. Remember Google Glass 10 years ago? It had this one piece that went over your, your ear. And when it was making noise, you couldn't really hear anything. But when you put it on your ear, it vibrated into the bone and your ear could translate the vibrations into sound. And that was, you know, people claimed Trump had one of those. I remember what was it like Bush and Romney had like a box in his jacket or something. And they were like, he's got a listening device. This proves it. I don't care if he does. But here's the story. Newsweek says. A conspiracy theory during the rounds on social media following yesterday's debate says that Democratic presidential uh, nominee Kamala Harris was wearing hidden earphones disguised as pearl earrings. The conspiracy theory says that Harris was wearing a set of Nova H1 audio earrings created by German startup Nova Products during the first presidential debate between Trump. This sounds like someone was trying to come up with why Kamala did better than they thought, and they're coping. The clip on earrings According to the startup's Kickstarter page, are placed on the earlobes and project the sound from inside the pearl straight into your ear canal. It adds that two tiny high-end microphones are integrated into each earring, providing the user with crystal clear phone calls and wind noise cancellation. Debuted at CES in Vegas, January 23, these Bluetooth wearables have directional sound that allow for privacy. Any audio output is absolutely private, so you're the only one hearing your conversations and music. While video footage of the debate shows that Harris is wearing pearl earrings, several social media users have pointed out their similarity with a pair of double pearl uh, hinged earrings from Tiffany & Co. Newsweek reached out to the Harris campaign for comment, <clears throat> which is silly, by the way. It's not the first time conspiracy theories have circulated about hidden communications during presidential debates. Similar Let's be real, though. Nothing is going to take the cake on the, uh, the vibrator. The alleged chest cheating vibrator. That's still, like, peak. Nothing can get close to the butt plug allegations. Absolutely nothing can get close to that. Similar claims were made about Hillary Clinton during the 2016 campaign, specifically after a televised forum called the Commander-in-Chief Forum on September 7th, 2016. Some conservative websites and social media users circulated an image that showed Clinton wearing an earpiece during the event. Fact-checking websites, PolitiFact and Snopes, examined and dismissed claims that a flesh-colored earpiece could be seen in Clinton's ear. There was also a claim that Joe Biden wore a hidden earpiece during a debate. This emerged before the presidential debate between Biden and Trump. It's, it's, it's every single time. OK, so here we go. Alex Jones posts this. Look at these earpieces that look like earrings. Looks a lot like what cackling Kamala was wearing. What do you think? No, it doesn't. The Nova earring goes on the ear and it's a single gold band that drops down. Nova H1 audio earrings, the first and only wireless earphones embedded in a in a pair of pearl earrings on a gold or silver plated clip. It's a Kickstarter, by the way. Then you jump over to this. It's not the same thing at all. She's wearing pearl earrings. And I must remind all of you, 
She's warned them before. Here we go. Red Pill USA tweets. Initially, I was skeptical, but after conducting some research, it appears there may be truth. The Why is 49 states uh, landslide Tim Pool being the normal one? I think it's because he recently got under caught for, you know, taking all that Russian money. So I think he's trying to play defense for Americans and American politicians as much as he can until people forget about the whole Russian asset thing. Allegation regarding Kamala Harris using assistance during the presidential debate. Am I mistaken or do these resemble the Nova H1 audio earrings that Kamala is wearing? They don't. I don't know what to tell you. They, they, they don't resemble. I don't know. I feel like it's a cope. People don't want to just admit that Kamala performed better than they thought. Everybody was saying this before the debate. This is what everybody's saying. Kamala is uh, going to do miserably. Trump's going to mop the floor with her. It's going to be bad. She's going to be exposed. The funny thing is, everyone was I saw these memes being posted about Joe Biden. Well, when Trump debated Joe Biden, he absolutely obliterated the man. Trump won the debate against Biden so well that Joe Biden dropped out of the race. Can you believe it? Kamala Harris suffered no such thing. Uh, at the very least, I say it's a coin toss. Trump had righteous indignation. He was stronger and more fierce. But Kamala did get him flustered uh, 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 some, some of the, sometimes. I don't think it was a particularly great definitive thing for anybody. The media is going to claim Kamala won. It doesn't matter if she did win. They're going to say this because low information voters being polled later on will be like, yeah, I think Kamala won because I heard that on the news. That's the game they're playing. Immediately. This is this is fascinating. During our live show last night, I said live, it seems like a lot of people are pointing out Kamala is doing way better than they thought. And Trump is actually flustered. A lot of commentators are complaining that it's three against one. That's a cope. And I'm not trying to be a dick, right? Uh, it was three against one. It's a fair criticism. I'm saying don't 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 bring that up. David Weir it's was not. debating Donald Trump. It's the it's not three against one. When one of the fucking presidential candidates keeps talking about people trying to eat people's cats and dogs. I I promise you, if Kamala Harris got on stage and said people are eating your cats and dogs, the moderators would have stepped in and said something. The thing is, she didn't do that weirdest thing like why was he doing it he's literally arguing with trump and trump's arguing back this is ridiculous trump was debating three people however had trump done very well nobody would have brought it up they would have said things like lol even with david weir arguing with trump trump is, is crushing it instead a lot of the responses were it's unfair they rigged the debate we knew this was going to happen that indicates you don't think trump did well in the circumstances. When I said this in the live show, I had super chats from people being like, LOL, who are you following, Tim? Trump's winning. Okay. Trump could have won. I don't think it's fair to say Trump won for a variety of reasons. Trump did well. I think he'll, he'll, he'll be benefited by uh, a lot of how he performed. That's for sure. But winning would have been destroying Kamala Harris's campaign in one night, which he could have done. Uh, probably not so easy, but he could have done it. If Donald Trump was calm, collected, and quick-witted, like he was with Biden. If Donald they, Trump wasn't Donald Trump, he could have won. Would have just been like, oh, man. Trump got her on a few points. He had her flustered. Uh, the first question she couldn't even answer, the why don't you do it now was masterfully done. But Trump got heated in too many points. And that gave Kamala Harris just enough. So when she brings up uh, all of the things to piss him off, you're a convicted felon. Trump responded well in some of the circumstances, but it got too personal. She said, well, that's rich coming from someone who's uh, con convicted and, and being sentenced. <laughs> and then Trump's response was good. He says, that's weaponization from them trying to jail me because they want to, to steal the election. That was a good response. But when, they, when asked about 2020, Trump says... I think I won. I think I won. And he shouldn't have done it. He shouldn't have done it. When uh, Kamala attacked his rally sizes and people leaving early, he took such offense to that because she's lying, of course. But she was trying to make sure that Trump said me, me, me instead of you, you, you. That was the only play she had. She had her talking points. and she Except for all of the policies that she talked about. I guess we can just ignore those. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, sure. One second. She had <laughs> get Trump mad. And I think Trump did walk into some of it. 
But this is why a lot of people are bringing this up, claiming that she's got some kind of secret audio device, because there has to be some explanation for why she did well, other than, I don't know, she uh, had debate prep, drank an energy drink, uh, and stood firm. I still think it wasn't that great for her. They, 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 they want to say in the media that Kamala Harris won, but there's a big difference between getting what you need, winning, and having absolute victory, right? So did she get what she needed? Well, the media got a little bit what they needed. They got sound bites of her sounding calm and reasonable. Uh, did she win? Win subjective. Can she declare outright victory in this debate? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What? <laughs> So uh, let me let me clarify the difference between did she win or is there a victory? What I mean to say is when the media says Kamala Harris won, it's a question of, but did she really? Maybe an outright victory would have been, oh, my God, it was so bad for Trump. Everybody agrees. That certainly didn't happen with Joe Biden. It did. Kamala Harris. Is that not because Fox News will never admit defeat? <laughs> In order to win needed a combination of strong uh, responses, sound bites, and I don't think that she got those. She got a little bit of what she needed, but she could not declare an outright victory. Same is true for Donald Trump. This is why I say, you know, a lot of people are coming out being like Kamala won or Trump won or whatever, but it, but it's a lot more than that. It's not so simple to say Kamala had better answers, so therefore she wins. No, she had, she came off as indifferent and condescending and snooty. That's bad for her. Again, I said this earlier in the show, Frank Luntz pointed out she's losing on image. She may have smart things to say, or she may have quick answers. She definitely deflects, but the image is bad, and that's what hurt Hillary Clinton. So we don't need to play these games and talk about secret audio devices to give her a leg up. It's silly. She didn't do that well. If she had real audio devices, she probably would have had much better answers. And that would be cheating, my friends. But you know what? How about this? Come November, y'all go vote. When early, vote, early voting is starting in like a week, y'all go vote. Get out there and vote as soon as you can. PA, Pennsylvania needs you. If you live in Pennsylvania and you don't vote and Trump loses, it's your fault. PA is the crucial state. It is the state. <laughs> Nate Silver said if Kamala Harris doesn't win PA, her chance of winning is 4%. So get out there, vote. <laughs> you probably read the, uh, the study that showed that... Uh... The people that support Donald Trump are not even likely to vote. It's always funny to hear debate bros try constantly trying to win debates. Trump would never, because Trump would never be snooty. What do you mean by that? Let's bring this one home. Smash the like button. Subscribe. To <laughs> Smash the like button. Oh, God, dude. Oh, guys, I have terrible news. I refuse to watch it, but I want you guys to know. Johnny CIA handler Harris is back to making videos on the internet. Yeah. 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 Who? 